Problem one, simplify the square root of 588. Well, we have to break 588 down. So we need to think it's even. So that makes me say, hey, I can start with a two. Now grab my calculator and do two divided by it. It'll give you what, 294. So that can't go any further. 294 is another two. And that's what, two times about what, 147. Is that right? Yes, 147. That two can't go any further. 147 now can be broken down. I know that can be divisible by three. If I add the digits together, one plus four plus seven gives me 12. Three goes into 12, so I know three will go into that. 49, yep. Okay, and again, you're using a calculator. So you can just check, hey, divide by two, then divide by three, just divide by some prime numbers. And 49 will break down to seven and seven. So now I know that the square root of 588 is nothing more than a two times two times three times seven times seven. Now to come out, we need a pair. There's a pair. So a two will come out. It's a pair of sevens. Seven will come out. So we're left with seven times two on the outside. So 14 root left behind with a three. 14 times the square root of three is exactly the same as square root of 588. Okay, it's just simplified. Problem two, simplify this. Now it's a negative exponent. First, I need to clean up the inside. Okay, I see a negative exponent on the inside, so I'm going to draw a fraction. The negative five stays. This comes to the bottom. B to the fifth stays up top. So I've cleaned up all the inside. Now I need to do it to a negative two power. That's the same as a negative one times two. That's the trick. Negative one means the reciprocal. So we flip this. Everything on top goes to the bottom. Everything on bottom goes to the top. And now that you've done that, you're just going to square this. So you have an A to the third, negative five B to the fifth, times an a to the third, negative five, b to the fifth. A to the third, a to the third is a to the sixth. Negative five times negative five, 25. And b to the fifth, b to the fifth, b to the 10th.